Happy Vlogman! <laughs> Welcome to December 1st, and December 1st means Vlogmas. That means we're gonna be daily vlogging every single day till Christmas. Also, it's December 1st, so the winter collection for Hunter Company just went live. We have so many new things that we've been working on for the last literal four months. So if you haven't already, go down below the description, click the link, and go to thehuntingcompany.com and shop around and get yourself something nice for Christmas. A matching beanie. If you order as soon as you see this video, you should get your packages before Christmas. You can have them as gifts. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Go check it out. All right, enjoy the first day of Vlogmas. In the last month or so, I've had a bunch of warning lights that have come up on my C8 that have nothing to do with the twin turbo kit. The most annoying one of these lights is the tire monitoring system, and even worse than that is the hood open 82 miles per hour top speed limiter. I truly do forget how much I do love this car, but it's just been very annoying lately because I've had three or four emails come in from Chevy saying that there are recalls on this car and because this is such a first gen, I got hit with all the recalls. So we need to go in today, drop it off. The front trunk thinks it's open, so I have a speed limiter. It says I need to service a few random things around the car. I think one of the airbags is faulty. The tires don't allow me to see pressures anymore even though I have sensors in. There's a whole plethora of things that need to get fixed on this car. But if you guys don't remember, I have a twin turbo kit on the car which I did not tell Chevy about, and I can probably guarantee we're gonna get a call later today that says, um, it looks like you've tampered with your car and we can't do any recall services or anything. I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm expecting the call, but I don't think it should stop them from working on the car, but I definitely think they're gonna get freaked out by it and give me a call. I can't believe I almost forgot this. The active lift doesn't work either. It says lift system unavailable. That's one of my favorite features about this car. I spent the extra money on this car to have it, and I don't have that feature. So hopefully we can get all this stuff fixed today. Okay, the weirdest thing just happened. This has never happened before. I just literally drove two feet to get on the road, and all of a sudden I heard like this weird noise, and the front lift just activated. Let's see if I hit it, if it will go down. Vehicle lowering. Okay, so for some reason, my car now is allowing me to lower it, but for the last month and a half, two months, the car has not been working. I don't know what the heck's going on with this car, but I'm excited to get everything fixed. And also too, I know a lot of people are probably upset that I'm not driving this car as much. And we haven't really fixed the turbo system yet. The turbo system works and the car runs perfectly and all that type of stuff. But whenever I go to like actually put the car into boost, my, for whatever reason, my car freaks out. We have an identical setup to Amelia's and Amelia's works flawlessly. For some reason, ours still is acting up. So I need to spend a day, hopefully, after Thanksgiving next week, we can go to Amelia's for the day and she can kind of spend a day with us and we can try to figure it out. Because this is probably one of the best cars ever is to drive. It's the most comfortable, it's the most luxurious, it's the most cool looking, it has a like a convertible top. It's amazing, I wanna drive this car, except you gotta understand, it's extremely slow and it doesn't let me go over 80 miles an hour and half the things don't work on it, so I just haven't wanted to drive it. But I do miss it though. I think we go right in here. All right, well, we're gonna drop this puppy off. I'll update you guys once I go inside. It's getting to be that time of year where it's doorbell season. We're all ordering packages and ordering groceries and we're just ordering things more in general, delivering to our front doors. And that is not only true for my personal house, but also here at the warehouse. With Ring, you can keep an eye on everything and if someone comes by or there's activity outside your front door, Ring allows you to see them and speak to them. And with it officially being holiday season, it's not only the best time for you to have a Ring, but it's the best time to gift a Ring system for someone that could use it. I personally have adapted to the Ring system and use it every single day for my own home because I have a video doorbell that keeps me updated whenever there's motion outside my house and allows me to speak to whoever's at my doorbell. Being able to tap into my system through my phone and get live feeds on everything is definitely life changing and I can never go back. And for a limited time, you guys can go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt and take advantage of the Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals for this holiday season. All you gotta do is go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. The deals aren't gonna last forever, so be sure to take advantage of the special offer from Ring. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. I have my Uber just picked me up. Hey, what, what the heck? 
the looks that I was getting in that car when I was just sitting there, I wish I was filming it because we have the rear view camera in the car and I'm able to see people's facial expressions really well. And every time an employee would walk by the car, I could literally just see them like triple checking and looking underneath the car at the twin turbo setup. I doubt they're gonna give me an issue about it, but I am expecting a phone call or something and they're gonna question me on it. I haven't driven this car in quite a bit, but coming up next week, there is an event on Friday that I want to go to and it's at a track that we go to often called Grains Motorsport. But what makes the event very special this time is there's actually gonna be a competition at the end of the day. Now I've been dying for some competition and unfortunately Pro-Am is on hold because of COVID and I haven't got to drive that car in competition, but I am gonna take the 370 for its first competition next Friday. And I'm really excited about it. A few things I need to fix on this car before competition is I need to put the rear bumper back on the car, which we'll get to today, but every pin or everything that holds the bumper together has been, has been destroyed, so that's gone. We need to swap some tires over, we need an oil change, and we need an alignment, which we'll probably will get next week when Tanner comes down to the shop. I just have so much junk in the way right now. So all the points of attachment on which this bumper was originally working on the car, they've all torn off. And we've tried to save this car a million bazillion times now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting in self taps here, self taps here, which is never my preferred method, but it is what it is. Like I said, this is all torn off, so that can't work. It's really shredded in two. This has a safety clip in, but it's like barely holding in. But we'll have to go here, here, and then ideally we need something here, Cal. I don't even know what this little cutout's for. Oh, this is gonna go into metal. This one's gonna be tough. Oh, she ain't going she's... anywhere. I don't think she's leaving for a long time, bud. It's never a good day when you have to resort to this, but it's better than nothing. While I'm changing the oil out, Calvin's gonna try and hit out and fix this right front fender. I think it was Sean, he put his tire right in our fender and actually just pushed in the whole entire stock fender, kind of cracked our over fender as well. So Calvin's gonna take this off and he'll try and hammer this and kind of get this back to its normal shape because it's actually cutting off some of our wheel clearance, which is pretty important. As you can see, this tire is all chewed up and that's because of that. Literally all the energy. Is there a way for you to like hit in here? Like on this inside? No. See so there's a big dent right here? No. No? Mm. Duh. Doing this left-handed. Can TJ actually be better than me? Oh, lefty though? Doing this Trick shot? Doing this left-handed. Trick shot? I don't know. Ooh. Like a pro. Wow. I'm that was that was a dunk if I've ever seen one. Not man. even not even a not even an ounce on me. Not even money. a money. Not even a mill, Teej. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Not even a mill, Teej. Let that drain out. So we're gonna do some VR1. This is two track events, and I can actually still see a little bit of the blue, which means it's not too dark, which is a good time to do a change. So we do about seven quarts because we have an ex a, uh, enlarged oil pan and a huge oil cooler. So I'm gonna go grab seven quarts of VR1. I just remembered too that on the last time we were driving, I had a front end collision tap with Sean. The whole front bumper is actually shifted on the face. I see what you're saying. The front bumper is supposed to be in that hole and all of these holes are all shifted. So Calvin and I are gonna try and take this off and hopefully we can try to push this back so it sits a little bit. Oh damn, look at that shirt though. Stack chips by whips, my new favorite shirt of the drop coming December 1st. Four different colorways, black, gray, black camo and green camo. Just a good shirt. I wanna oh, try to. I, I feel it. like it's pretty, pretty like. You can just self tap it. You I don't know, cause that's in like metal metal. If I like, wait, if I pull when you do that, is it? Yeah, but. This honestly goes without saying at this point, but we're gonna be doing the VR1. VR1 has a high zinc content, which is great for anti-wear protection, especially when you're bouncing rev limiter nonstop. So whenever I use this car or any of these super, super high performance cars, I'm always running VR1 oil. Now it's time to give this thing a wash. It hasn't properly been cleaned for quite a while, and we're not gonna show up to the event next week with a dirty car, so we're gonna wash this thing down. And I'll probably try to come through with some rubber remover and try to get rid of all of these tire marks because the car is littered with stuff like this. Try and clean that up a bit. I just finished moving everything inside. That looks really cool. 
This thing is as clean as it's been in a very long time. The only thing it needs is an alignment. Got new tires. Tried to clean it as best as I could. Oil change, filter. And I actually just got a call from GM and they were like, uh, there's a lot of aftermarket things on this car so it's taking a long time. And it has a check engine light so they're trying to figure that out. And I was like, no, please don't touch anything with the check engine light that's completely unrelated. Please just fix the recalls. And they said it's gonna take a few more hours and what that really means is it's not gonna be done until tomorrow. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving, which means it's not gonna be done then, which means it's gonna be done on Friday. So it's Wednesday now. We're probably, we're probably not gonna get this car back for a few days, which, which I'm totally fine with that. I just want it fixed and I'm not driving it anyway. Three hours later. TJ's taking his first poop in the new house. <laughs> just kidding. We're back again. We come back so often just because we're so excited even though we're not actually moving until mm, the house should close in like a couple weeks from the point you guys see this video and then we'll be moving in in like mm, a month or so. Your fireplace is on. Hello. Your fireplace is on. Michelle, say hello to the vlog. Um, um, excuse me, ma'am. This is private property. You can't be here. This is private property. You can't be here. You need to leave immediately. <laughs> TJ, pick her up and throw her in the pool. TJ, one to ten, you won't throw Brianna in the pool. Three, two, one, oh, four. Oh, do it, you get so many views. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go for a swim. Take the sweatshirt off and we'll wait till Art leaves and then just jump in. <laughs> I will literally toss you. Ew, can my parents not? On our kitchen counter? <laughs> Those of you guys who are OGs on the vlog know that I'm terrified of spiders and I just found, oh, I can't even get close to that. What if it jumps? Oh my gosh, it needs to be gone immediately. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Kill it, kill it, Big T. Can I just catch it and put it out in the backyard? Mm, okay, fine, you can do that. Oh, what if it bites? What if it jumps? Oh no. I'll just, <coughs> just smack it. it. Oh. Throw, throw it at Serena. <gasps> there it goes, get it. Oh, oh, it's still alive. Oh, oh my gosh, you're fearless. Don't get near me, I'm arachnophobic. Don't, <laughs> don't go, please. Also? No, please, I can't, get away. <gasps> Disgusting. You're flushing. Oh, I'm gonna let him live. Let him live. Oh, it's oh my gosh, no! <laughs> We're at Brianna's favorite restaurant. Hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Go scare TJ. Go scare TJ. Just like, go like walk over there and then walk by him and just go boo. Anyone scared Tej while he's <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll have to watch the vlog to see it. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Tej, it's a good name. Taxes aren't done by your scholar. The basic rate for taxes <laughs> is, it goes from 20%, and then the highest rate you'll pay is 46% if you make over 150,000 euros. Oh. What? Where are you going, Arnold? So I make more than that, and I pay like 26%. Damn, he just told the whole vlog how much he makes. <laughs> Not a boy, Big T. <laughs> Dang, what a baller. <laughs> Dang. He's Don't paying 90% taxes. Don't put that in there. He's paying 90% taxes. Dude, he, I, I, that's, he that. Don't put that in. That's, that's, that's <laughs> making the cut. Soup. That's, 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 <laughs> Did you hear that? Erase that all soup. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting that in. Are you watching this or not? Oh no, Michelle. Hmm, Big T, do you have any wise Wait, wisdom for us this putting, evening? You can't just be videotaping stuff. Um, yes, we. I have wisdom. Shut the hell up. He who worked the bed with itchy butt, woke up with smelly finger. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not wisdom. <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> so if you watch this far in the videos, I guess at this point, we don't want to say that we bought the house because we're still in escrow. We did. But uh, hey, whoosh. if you've been watching continuously, we've been talking about it for months, and now we've been going there almost a few nights a week, just making sure that everything is exactly how we want it. And I guess they just saw a video prior that was an update video, so I guess it's the secret is out. Secret. But we're not showing you the house fully until we move in, or maybe in, maybe we save it for Vlogmas. That's a whole other discussion. Do I really do vlogmas this 100%. year? 100%. I don't know if I can do it. You gotta do I don't, it. I don't think so. Come on, it's I don't a think Christmas I can do it. gift to everybody. I don't know if I can do that. 
But guys, let him down. Let him know down below that he's got it. Dude, it's man. so hard. We'll do it together. I got content coming out the wazoo over here. It's so hard to come up with title and thumbnails. Think about it. I'm gonna 25 have... vlogs in a row. I don't know if I can do that. Think about it. I'm gonna have my license back soon and I can take all your cars and do vlogmas myself. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do that, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Unfortunately, the C8 didn't come back today, but at least we're gonna get it back with all of its issues all figured out. Don't forget that December 1st, we have the Winter Collection drop. All of our new designs that we've been storing and working on for the last six months all go live. So do yourself a favor, get yourself the Christmas gift, and if you order it very quickly after December 1st, you should get it by Christmas. Do yourself a favor. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and keep moving forward. Beanie Twins. <laughs> On three, we're gonna go happy vlogmas. <laughs> but okay. Not be good. Wait, let's okay. do let's do what we did in that NAS NASCAR vlog where we walked up slow motion. And it was like, and you did like the background music. Me and my, you right. look so much taller than me. You want to be in it, Alicia? No. I'm yes, you do. Come on, you want to? Wow, she sounds. I'm this scared. is gonna be a blooper. You sounded so upset to do that. She was so. Why are you scared? I just Alicia's scared to be in the vlog, so you need to follow her on Instagram right here. No, yeah, right and go tell her. I will cry. And you go will tell. ruin my day. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, she, Alicia's really... like our little elf. I am an elf. I know you're not. <laughs>